So we're ready to spray up glitter. We are utilizing our Clearview Creations Chin Rest for the second time. So she's she's not liking it too much, but she's adapting really well, but it, it's new for her. So it helps keep their head stable so that you can work with all this hair without it being as much of a battle for you because they aren't looking around as much and wiggling and moving and doing all the things they could be doing. I've got two combs, pick, a pen brush, shears, and most importantly, ow, hairspray. I prefer Volumax. It is 80% VOC. You can see that on there. It's just a people hairspray. I like it because it washes out fairly easily. You can be very careful about applying a fine mist so you're not getting much on the dog. And it does a really, really nice hold. So you want to take the clip out. Make sure you fan it the direction you're going to want it. When you do these front sections, do your best to keep their eyes covered because you don't want to get anything in their eyes. They're good little babies. This is still glitter. Magic Hours Energize. I'm going to cover glitter's eyes. You just do a quick mist across the front of her bubble. Keep her eyes covered. And use your finger to help train some of those hairs back into the bubble. That's why it doesn't matter that you have a little breakage. I'll let her put her head back in the rest. Use the comb. Get the section fanned the way we want it. Now, obviously, it's going to droop some. It doesn't have any spray in it yet. It's going about 40 different directions. Cover her eyes and do a light mist in the front. You want to take your comb, stabilize the hair, and work on building that fan. Now, she's dirty. This is not going to be a perfect spray up. This is just an example to show those of you sitting at home, like me, didn't have anyone close by to help you. Not that there aren't plenty of people willing in poodles to help. It's one of the most wonderful, encouraging breeds you can possibly be part of with a lot of really wonderful people. But we're all spread out across the country and sometimes it's hard to meet up, especially in times like these. You go ahead and do that fan forward. You want to mist heavier at the base, lighter as you get to the top. I'm going to stand that back up. And you want to work it up into the fan. And then brush the hair back behind it, up into the fan with it. You want to always be stopping and checking your work to see that it's standing appropriately. Clitter says, Mom, what you doing? That was crazy. Sorry, girl. There we go. You want to make sure it's standing up like that. So it's a nice fan around her face. It's okay for it to fall forward while you're working on it. You want to do little small sections at a time. Stand it up. Work those little small sections back into place. See, because of my own light. There we go. See, actually, you probably can. Got this section not worked up as far as I do this section, so I want to work on just that section for a second. There we go. Now it's even again across the base. 
And I've not brushed out her ears because she's going in the tub immediately after doing this. And so her ears normally would have been flat ironed, the hair on them, flat ironed and put into, plat into a vet wrap to keep them nice and straight. We've got a section here that the tips want to come apart, so we just want to touch that and put it back in place. Now the top's coming back together again. that light. Well, I thought that would be better. That's way worse. Ah, there we go. See, that's wanting to break apart. So go ahead and let it fall back. And I like to tamp it in with my pin brush. We've got just the tips coming apart still. Go back through that. And it all depends on your dog's individual hair as to how it works up into the spray up best. Some dogs, it's better to go ahead and do the full spray up, not pay attention to the little sections that are falling apart, and redo those tips when you get to the end. This girl's coat, if I do that, tends to have a really broken look at the tips. So it's something you have to practice and get used to what your dog will accept and what their hair will tolerate. Some dogs spray up far easier than others. Some dogs do way better with less spray or a different brand of spray. Rod, I always felt honestly looked best the less spray I could put in him. He has very, very coarse hair and it just did not like having spray put in it. So I would normally spray up his fan and for the most part leave the rest of it alone. Now, I don't want to pick at this too much because like I said, she's dirty, she's getting ready to go into the bathtub. So I'm gonna show you the basics, but I don't want to spend all afternoon doing this. Now this is where it can get difficult because you're getting ready to have the transition from the top where it's actually fanned out and you want it pretty upright to the back where you want it to start coming out and kind of curving up just a little. I'm just going to lower the camera. Maybe. Scoot it down a little so you can see. Try to do this very, very softly because this is where if you're really being heavy with your brush hand, you'll make everything lean forward. And when your dog gets off the table, it's going to look like they have no neck hair and no neck because everything's going to be shoved into that hole, which I am really bad about doing. So I have to be really careful. You want to keep checking it, brushing it out, make sure you're not spraying up your hair. Fairly heavy, and just the base, lighter as you get to the top. And I am rushing and doing bigger sections than I would do if I was at a show. Gotta get my time because I'm not at a show <laughs> and I'm not gonna spend all afternoon doing this. This is also where if it gets to that point it helps to be able to ask them to lower their head for you. I'm going to take her off the chin rest. You see it's starting to lean back. You want it that way.
switching to the comb because I didn't like how bunched it was down there. That was going to just end up being a big hairspray mat if, I, if that was going to And truthfully, the rest of this, I would do once I had her standing on the ground. And I'm not particularly wanting to stand her on the ground for this. So I'm just going to back up the camera. Now the front, of course, always falls a little bit. You got to go back. tweak it. I won't push her head in too far, baby. And cover her eyes again. I'm not trying to spray her in the eyes. Get that fan back out of the way. Oops, use her ear. And get the ear, pull that out of the way. Now spray the side. I'm gonna brush that out and back. Shears. Come back over the tips that are all sticking out. Go over it to make sure that your fan is all nice and smooth. I would also do that over the top line if I was going to stand her up. That's not a 100% completed spray up. But that gives you the basic idea.